Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> good morning. It is Thursday, and as you can see, it's a whole lot of Sunday. You know what I mean with that sun? Look at that. God is good. It's so beautiful. It's your boy, Mr. Yee. Yee, out of that big seven. Solano County, Northern California. No limit hauling and junk removal, you know. It's Thursday. It's a beautiful day. We got a beautiful job lined up. You know, beautiful day. We got another beautiful big payday because we hit them with that Kimbo slice price yesterday. Yesterday, a client reached out to us over the phone. CTA calls the action, you know, after seeing us on social media groups doo -doo 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 -doo, and said they got to have Mr. Yee Yee, no limit hauling and junk removal. You know, they seen us. They were like, we didn't call any haulers. We see all the other haulers, yeah. But we love the education you do. We love your posts. It's almost like you educate us to uh, what you what you offer and what you do. I said, exactly. Thank you so much. It made me feel so proud and so nice when, when clients say that and say, hey, just makes me want to push even more and harder. Because, you know, people love when you educate and when you put that, this information out there. The more information you put out there the more people are going to love it and you're going to land more jobs because they're going to see you as a brand, a name. And you, they're going to see all your Google reviews and all this type of stuff that stand behind it for your resume. Got to have this nice resume. I'm trying to tell you. So, you know, but this client reached out to us. Man, they got a farm over here in Solano County, a huge farm. Been in the family 50 something years. <sighs> Ooh. They called me and they called the big dog. You want to be a big dog in this business, like I say? You better be ready. So when those big dog clients call you, when those big job, uh, uh, when those big dog jobs come, you better be ready and you better have everything that, that it takes. Like I tell you guys, you better have what it takes to handle this because you don't want to embarrass yourself or have to work so harder and harder and harder and harder and make you look like you're struggling in front of the client. Because a lot of times the clients want you in and out. They don't want you there all day. They want you in and out. You know what I mean? But anyways, you know, they need a huge... They cleaned out their dad's garage from all of his machinery, all of his tools, everything they cleaned out of their dad's garage now in front of their house on their driveway. But they live in a... a, a they, they live on a farm, so you have to drive into it. But, you know, the public can't see it, but they can see it. And they're like... We're done. We don't want to see this pile anymore. We're starting a new business in the field. We're starting this. We're starting that. We're starting this. And we don't want this stuff right here on the driveway anymore. So they called me and, they, and I said, and I said, you know, I can't give you any prices over the phone. But what I could do is I could stop by right now if you're available and, you know, give you a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, absolutely free estimate with no obligations. Don't worry about it. It's absolutely free. It's okay. They were like, are you available now? I said, yes. They were like, okay, well, well, I'll send you my address. I said, I'm already here. And they sent me the address less than 15 minutes. I was there. And just like that, we were on the scene, chopping it up. I was seeing what's going on. She was talking to me about her whole life. She grew up here. Their children are growing up here now. Their dad's getting older, so they're taking this over. So they want to build a better future of the land for their children. And I said, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So I'm, she's talking. I'm listening. Like I said, I'm the ear. I'm just listening, but I'm surveying all this stuff. How long, how long this going to take me? And, uh, you know, how much is this going to fill up my trailer? Do, am I going to need, uh, uh, is this going to be two trailer loads or one trailer load or a trailer load and a half? And, and is there any heavy equipment? Is there any heavy things that I can't lift by myself? And how many people do I need? And, you know, how much it's going to cost me at the dump to dump all this stuff? So all that's going in my brain while she's talking to me. So, you know, you got to be able to master that. Got to be able to master the survey, like the Terminator. You got to be able to survey it. That's why I wear my glasses everywhere I go so you can't really see my eyes. Because I'm my, my eyes are always going. But you can't see that when my glasses are on, see? But anyways, you know, so after talking for about 20 minutes, I noticed they had a bunch of trees that they needed to be lined up. And they were like, yeah, our, our tree guy we use is my dad's friend, but... He's getting older, too, and we need someone to trim all these trees around the uh, the fence line. I said, I'd do that, too. No problem. They were like, oh, my God, Rudy, you could do that, too? 
We would love if you can do that too. We would just love it because we don't like calling a lot of people to come to our land. It's always just family. Now that you're here, you see, it's all about upselling and getting your foot in the door and letting the clients know who you are. And it will happen that fast, so quick, so easy. You, you'd be surprised. So, you know, I hit them with that price for the job. And they, you know, get the net, get the net. We got a big one here. Hit them for that price with the job last night, yesterday evening. About five o'clock I went out there. Yesterday evening, now we're doing the job right here the next day. 9 a.m. start, just like that. So I try to tell you guys, you know, calls to action lead to satisfaction, make Jagger money. And you know, we're gonna go get this nice big payday. You know, like I say, all those little jobs add up for that for when that big fish comes. Because, you know, I do all those little jobs and I post them all over social media and everybody sees them and everybody calls me, asks me how much for this, how much for that, how much for this. Then I get that big one. So all those little jobs are just a filter until I get to that big one. So, you know, learn about it. Be about it. I'm showing you guys this game. I'm telling you guys this game. It's not a lot of haulers out there who are telling you guys the recipe and giving you guys this game. I'm trying to tell you, you know what I mean? Do those small jobs. Let them see who you are and, you know, filter until, you know, keep on doing those small jobs until that big one comes. But if you want to be a big dog and have those big dog jobs, like I say, you better be ready for that. Because if you ain't ready for that, it's going to cost you a whole lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of sweat. So, you know, but today that's what we're doing. We're on a farm doing a huge garage clean out for this client and we're we're going to do we're going to be demoing her uh, pig pens, her, their chicken coops that they no longer want on there and doing a, a tree trimming. So this job's three different jobs on one property that we got and guess what? This job was absolutely free because it was on social media platforms. <laughs> because I'm building my brand, my name my reputation and people knew who I am because you know they know the brand no limit hauling and junk removal because I push it I push the brand I push the name I push the pictures of me I'm all over the pictures I'm everywhere I'm trying to give you guys game put that pride to the side if you want that money I'm trying to tell you this is a business you're becoming more mature now do what's right for your business not not what's right for your ego trying to tell you do what's right for your bank account I'm trying to tell you do what's right you want to buy a house do what's right to buy that house you know what i mean you want to buy a car do what's right to buy that car you know what i mean that's just a little bit of knowledge from your boy mr yee yee make sure you like and subscribe support the movement man you know what i mean it's thursday morning it's a beautiful sunny day we're getting money we're still going we've been we've been working all week the season is coming. The season is just about starting up right now. I'm telling you, May is going to be a beautiful season. Beautiful season. And I, I'm, I'm so glad all year from January to now, I've been planting that seed. I've been planting that seed. I've been planting that seed and watch it grow, 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 grow. And now it's almost time to harvest and, you know, reek the produce that everything I planted produced. I'm trying to tell you that's knowledge right there that's game right there but you know we'll get back at you we're gonna go handle this business we're gonna go pick up one of my guys and you know we're gonna go on this farm and handle this business we'll get some footage and let you guys see that too because you're with your boy Mr. Yee Yee I let you guys know everything that we do in motion you know what I mean everything we do you're with me on the side with me thank you for watching our videos make sure you like and subscribe again and watch the whole video support the movement We'll get back at you. Yes, yes. You already know, Mr. Yee Yee. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So we're on this farm. You can see this riding lawnmower. We got dishwashers. We got all this stuff right here. All this to do. We're making it happen. We're clearing all this out. We're making it happen, we'll get back at you. Yes, 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 yes. So basically, we're filling up this trailer right here. But there's so many, there's so much debris on this farm. We're taking care of all these debris right now. I got my, my young cutty right there bringing me everything. But you see all these trees? We're doing all these trees, trimming up all these trees. 
big tree trimming job coming up on this job. We got more stuff back there. We got more stuff all the way back here with the demo of the pig pens, chicken coops, but we're doing all this. We got all this super loaded up. We'll get back at you. Yes, yes. Here at the pig pen, taking a bunch of other stuff, all this other debris. This other debris in here, this other debris in here. We got more stuff right here. We got more stuff in there that we gotta take down. This is what we're doing today. We'll get back at you. Yes, yes. Farm clean out. Big dog. So basically, we're on this big, big, huge farm and we're just picking up little knickknack stuff that they don't want anymore. Yeah, we're gonna be truly taking everything from this farm that they don't want anymore. And we got that job. This big job and many more to come. But you know, this is what we're doing today on this big farm. Huge clean out. This is what we're doing. We got it. Remember, like I said, if you want those big dog jobs, you better be ready because this is what this is one of them. And yes, yes, look at that. So beautiful. We're just picking everything up. We'll just get back at you. Yes, yes. That is a pile right there, baby. We're filling it up. We're getting this job done. We're filling it up just like that. We'll get back at you just like that. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So just like that, that job is done. You know what I'm talking about? We went to the dump. We dumped that whole load we had this morning. And that whole load was 0.8.5 of a ton. You see earlier, we had a wash machine in there. And we had a, one of those riding lawnmowers. That thing weighed about three to 400 pounds. Easy. So, you know, what we did was we separated that. Today was the first time in a while that we had to... Uh, unload our dump trailer by hand because I can't just dump it with the uh, riding lawnmower and washing machine in the back of it. Otherwise, I got to pick it back up and put it in the trailer. And I want to do that and I definitely didn't want to dump it at the landfill and get charged for it and then they recycle it and make more money, even more money off of me. So what I did was kept it in the trailer because I got to call my guy to come pick it up for absolutely for, for free for me and put money in his pocket because you know we work with each other we network with each other i help him out he helps me out and it's a big big savings when i get to save time and money so you know of course i could have went to my other spot and and dropped it off myself and recycled it and got a little bit of cash but i'd rather have my guy get it so you know with that whole big trailer load that we had today 0 0.88 0 0.85 of a ton almost a ton but you know $59 to uh dump that big load that we had today working on that local farm that is a nice nice farm that they're uh creating and actually you know they are you know in business and you know they gave me and my wifey some flowers today and you know they are called they are called they are called at foxy flowers farm Dot com just like that look at this fresh fresh cilantro i got one right there i got a i got another one right here so what they're doing is they're starting up on their parents farm a pick them farm so you come to their farm and you pick all your fresh vegetables all your fresh herbs everything that they have and guess what we are going to be their first first client when they open up their business in a few weeks because they, you know what I mean? We're gonna go work together. They said, Rudy. I said, I told them, I told them what my life, what my wife would like, and I said, you know, just like that, cilantro. You know what I mean? Just like that. And they said, Rudy, we want you to be our first, first clients. And that cilantro smells fresh and good. Like you can use that right now. But they said, go plant it for you get bigger and beautiful. So I said, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And, you know, just like that. And, you know, they, I, I said, I want to be the first clients in here that I get to pet, pick the very first herbs as a client because, you know, I got those rights. And you said, they said, Rudy, as soon as we open up, you're going to be our first person. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go put you on my social media. I want you guys to look up uh, fo at foxyflowersfarm.com. Check them out. They have a website already and you know they ship things. But if you're in my local area and you want to stop by a farm and check them out and pick some fresh herbs or whatever they're, they're going to be having going on there, look up, to, look out for them. Because today we did a nice job for them. And you know, it was a beautiful job, less than two hours of work because I could not drive my my truck and trailer on certain on certain parts of the property. So we had to use hand barrow, hand trucks, garbage cans, wheelbarrows. 
everything but you know the client helped us out my worker he did a good job everybody did a good job today we all came together and that's exactly what it's about coming together but not only that but one of your local residents and local businesses reaches out to you and needs you and guess what we'll be going there back monday to do a tree trimming job just like that like i said two jobs in one job three job in one job just like that they're going to be doing more clearing out in their uh, garage and certain items we're going to go back and do a demo of the uh of the pigs of the hogs house then a, a demo of the chicken coops that they don't want anymore we we'll, we're going to be that person for these people just like that you know what i'm talking about just like that we we did it it was a it was a beautiful day today you know what i mean like i tell you guys these people found me on google because of all the google reviews five stars and you know just like that we got the job and they said you know rudy we didn't even call no other haulers we just reached out to you and we liked your attitude and how you came up front and gave us a quote just like that we made it happen you know what i mean and less than two hours of work today and we didn't have to get busy do a bunch of dirt do a bunch of dirty jobs it was one nice easy job today and you know just like that the seasoning the season is starting to open up and the phone is ringing we have another job uh, uh tomorrow we have another job saturday and if i wanted to i could have had a job sunday with them but i postponed it to monday to start a new week off with business just like that man you know what i mean it's working out it's working out and you know Less than two hours today of work. One massive, fully, fully trailer load. But we got that money. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now. We got that money. Wait. It was a blessing today. So, you know, look professional. Be professional. Talk professional. And you get those professional prices. Not those low baller prices. Or those low baller uh, 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 situations because you are a low baller. You know what I mean? Just because you have a truck and trailer and you have logos, t-shirts and all that doesn't mean you know how to talk. Doesn't mean you know how to get it. Doesn't mean you know how to be professional. Trust me, I know a lot of haulers out there who are like that. And you know, they stay at a certain level. Me, I keep on going all the way up. I keep on ranking up way over these jabronis. But you know what I mean? Like I said, if you want to be a big dog and you want those big dog jobs, you want those big dog paydays, you better be ready. Because you know what? There's a lot of guys out here, probably you out there watching right now. Yeah, 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 you. There's a, probably a lot of people like you watching right now who, who are a big dog. But you're getting chihuahua money. Because you're in competition with all the new guys like me. Who, you know, come through professional, know what they're doing, are excellent with sales and excellent with estimates and landing a job. That's just it. You got to know communication. You got to know how to communicate. You got to know how to get in there and get it and hit them with that price. That's just it. You know what I'm talking about? One job is probably more jobs than some people had all week. The payday I got today. It's another payday tomorrow. It's another payday Saturday. And you know, it's going to be a beautiful week for us. But we are so thankful. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I mean? God is good. And you know, we're so thankful. That's a day for us today. You know what I mean? Make sure you like and subscribe. Support the movement, baby. Keep on watching. Keep on liking. Drop those comments. How much money did you make today? How many trailer loads did you have today? You know, how much money did you spend at the dump today? Let me know if you want to hear some content, if you want to hear, hear a video, something that I could talk about that you would like, you know, drop a comment. Let me know. You know what I'm talking about? We're almost there. We're almost, we're already past the 500 subscribers. Boom. Thank you guys out there for that. Now we are on the 3000 watch hours. It's not easy getting 3000 watch hours. I tell you that right now. It's not easy, but we're getting it. Because of all of you out there and, you know, spitting all this fresh game and knowledge, helping you guys out. It's beautiful. We all work together. Everybody wins here. Everybody wins here. We need that 3,000 
watch hours so we can hit that membership and we can have a membership going and everybody could be part of this membership and we can share knowledge we can spit game we can go live we can do this it's so much more as soon as we get that 3,000 watch hours trust me trust me trust me with this education and junk removal that i spit for you guys and you guys get to watch and see what i do because i always post up and show you guys what i do like I said, I'm probably the most popularist hauler in my area. You know what I mean? That post the, the most videos. Because I love being behind in front of the camera. I love being behind the camera. I love talking to the camera. I just love being me. And, you know, I have that gift of gaff. I, I, I got it. A lot of people don't have it. I'm just blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Ever since I've been, ever since I came out the womb, I've been a tycoon. But, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful day. We got some fresh cilantro from make sure you make sure like I say you guys go check them out. You know what I mean? Foxy at foxyfarms.com. You know what I mean? Tell them Rudy aka Mr. Yee Yee sent you. You know what I'm talking about? With that said, you guys already know what to do. You know it's your boy Mr. Yee Yee out of that 7. And you already know how we're going to end this video. You already know what I'm talking about. Mr. Yee Yee.